Right, to add a bucket, mate, cogs, system settings, select or edit machines. You select the machine you want, obviously, make sure you're on the right one. Um, edit machine parameters. And then you go to the buckets tab. Okay, and then under here, this is the one for the buckets. So you say add bucket or clamshell bucket. And then it comes up with all this lot, you've got to calibrate. So the first thing you choose is what side that this sensor is facing. So I think yours is on the inside of the hitch, even though it's on the right hand side, it's facing left, maybe. But just double check that for me. So on here, we're gonna say left. And then you measure the height from the tip of your cutting edge to the center of your pivot point on the end of your dipper and punch that in there. So on this one we'll have, it'll be something like 1.015, so to the nearest millimetre if you can. And then push, tick. And then you have to tell it the bucket width. So I'm not sure what you got. So it's in metres. A few people have done this incorrectly. They put 600 and they've had 600 metres. So if it's a 600, you do 0 0.6, tick. Um, and then, where are we? Bucket sensor. So now you have to tell it at the zero point. So what you do is you put your string line from there, hang it down, and you curl it under so the tip is ju just touching the string line vertical. So you touch the little numbers at zero, 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 and then it brings up this. You push offset wizard. Um, this is telling you to do in a vertical one with your string line. So once it's lined up and you're happy with it, just push tick. And then you have to do the floating position. So to do the floating position, you put the bucket so the cutting edge is nice and flat on the floor or with a spirit level. I'm sure you can judge that by eye. And then all you do is do floating, offset wizard again, and then tick. And then that's called that new bucket. So you just push the rename and you call that whatever you like. Say so 600. Digging. But you've got them with and without tilty, so you'd have to name with and without the tilty, wherever we done it last time, and then tick. And that's it. Just confirm it. And there's a new bucket. Okay? That's it. Mate.